Hello and welcome to this tutorial on uh, making an email client in Microsoft Visual C Sharp. Now it's not really much of an email client, it's just kind of simple, small. And so you're going to want this form and then a couple of labels, a couple of text boxes, and a login button. And then once you have those, um, we actually need another form, so go to right click there, press add, and then new item. You can make a Windows form. Add. Um, and then you have this other form, which we'll get into this later. But for right now, we need to code it to where when you click on the login button, that it opens up this form. So first, you need to create an instance of that form. Form2 equals, or not equals. And then you can come down here and type form two dot show uh, so now this um this form will show when you press this button and we can go ahead and test that real quick and it works um And so now that that's done, we can move on to the um, next part. Um, well, so over here for this form, you're going to need a few things. You're going to want to make this kind of wide, like this. And you're going to need four labels. First label. We just control V, control C, control V to copy and paste, and you can just kind of bring these up here. First one needs to be named. See how I'm doing on time. Okay, so basically you're just gonna wanna copy all of these and this, uh, which should be pretty simple. And the uh, color I used was button highlight, uh, but instead of button one at live.com and such, you can put your contacts. And the contacts um, down here, they don't have to be live.com, but your email address for this case does. And you can change that in the code later. But um, so yeah, this will be your email address, and these will be your contacts. And then, um, so then you're going to want to come down to form1.cs and come up here and type in public static text box tb equals new text box and do the same thing, just rename this to tb1 and then come down to form load and go text or tb equals text box 1 and then tb1 equals text box 2 and this is so that we can access them from the form 2 the code and now you're gonna wanna come over to the form two dot cs need a check and then you're just gonna put this in a try statement actually first you um okay so I went ahead and typed in all the code you need um first things first you need to put this in and then go ahead and copy down all this code, make sure to put in a try and catch and then um, talk about this in a second so copy all this stuff and then so just pause the video, go ahead and copy it down and then you need to come over here 
and copy all that we have here so far. So this means that if this is equal to your email address, replace this with your email address, and replace this with your password that's actually from your account. Then it'll show the form. But if it's not, then it'll show this message box, sorry, username and password is incorrect, please try again. Um, okay, so that's done. And so let's go ahead and test that. And so if it doesn't, sorry, username or password is incorrect, but if I put in button one at live.com and password and log in, then it does let me go in. Um, also, one thing is for this text box, um, go down to password character and you can set it to star. It's pretty easy. Um, okay. Then we need to go, and so here, this code, textbox two dot text is equal to button one dot text, is here. So this is button one, so that when you press this, this will become the text that's on this button. So we need to do that with all of these to the two section. So come down. I think I'll pause the video. Actually, I'll do the first one, and then I'll pause, and then you can figure it out. Um, so double click on button two, then you can put text box. It's actually easier just to copy and paste, but then replace it with button two, and then just do that for all the other buttons. Okay, also, uh, so I got all these down, and you should also have them down, but I realized that I copied and pasted with text box 2 in, so that would definitely not be good, so you want to make sure to change all these to text box 1, except for button 1, which is used for your email address. And that pretty much is all the code you have to write, uh, but there's one optional thing I want to go ahead and do. You don't have to do this. Only do it if you don't have to worry about anybody hacking into your computer. Uh, but so, or just if you're don't not worrying about security, then you don't don't do it. you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but just click on button highlight and change this one to you can do like um, login info. And then double click that and change it to, and you can just type in text box one dot text is equal to um, button one at live dot com and then text box two dot text is equal to button or sorry password but you would actually put your password here and so that way when you go up here uh, run debug wait for it to load up um, if you put in login info then it puts it in for you and then you don't have to type anything you put your email address and then somebody else's um, yeah, and so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this should work if you type in a subject and a body or a message and press send. It should send it to whatever email address you specified. So um, thanks for watching. Please comment, and like, subscribe, um, anything to help out. Uh, thank you. Bye.